Hello everyone, it's good to see you again. Uh, it is my privilege this week on Because You Asked uh, to elaborate a little bit more on homecoming. Uh, people ask us all, all the time, when is it? Uh, uh, what happens on that day? And uh, just want to encourage you to come uh, to homecoming. Homecoming is October the 7th this year. Uh, we have, before that, we have a golf tournament, and after that, we have a Bible conference that you're certainly welcome to. We'll elaborate on that a little bit later. So this October the 7th, we'll start our homecoming services at 9 a.m. So homecoming is an awesome time where those who have been to Bethel Colony experience what God has done for them to come, as the scripture says, and let the redeemed of the Lord say so. We get to come together and celebrate uh, what God has done since they've graduated uh, from the colony, uh, the great work that God has done in their family life, uh, and how they're serving the Lord at this time. So we get to share all that wonderful experience, all that hard work uh, that their family and loved ones prayed in them and spoke into their life and coming to Bethel and learning uh, their relationship with the Lord and learning the truths and principles that help them overcome. And now we get to all see what the fruit of uh, God's work in their life has done. So this is a wonderful time to reunite, a wonderful time to uh, meet up with um, uh, fellow brothers that you've met at Bethel Colony and friends that are relationships that you've de developed um, in the past years. It's a good time to come and connect uh, with your counselor and uh, the, the Pastor Richie and Pastor Loss and myself and uh, just talk about what God has been doing again. So we'll start our services at 9 a.m. And at 9 a.m. it's a praise and worship time. We just going to pray and celebrate the Lord. We have Todd and Dana Howerton and their praise team coming uh, to just worship with us in the morning and lead us in worship. Uh, then we'll take a break and uh, then we get into what we call roll call. Uh, roll call is uh, a time where people share uh, three minute testimonies and give God glory for what they've done. And then we have a wonderful meal prepared. And after the meal, then we have the Bethel Colony Choir come and sing uh, some more praise songs. And then we have Dr. Billy Martin with us this year. Uh, great teacher, a man who loves God, who's been preaching the gospel for many years. And we love him coming. Uh, so he'll be sharing the gospel with us. So please, come share the fellowship with us. Come see what the Lord has done. Come celebrate 70 years of ministry with us. And here's a little taste of what's going to happen. For us, this whole thing has been a family affair. My oldest granddaughter, she sends me preaching material. You know, humorous stuff. Like, she sent me something to have this morning or this afternoon. A lady, fine lady, I mean, she's driving an older car. And uh, she got a message on her phone that her daughter was seriously hurt at home and she was needed there. Well, she got flustered. And she locked her keys in the car. You've been there probably, I have. And you just, you know, it's, you look so pitiful. You're just looking through the window. There are my keys. <laughs> I can't get there. And for 15 or 20 times, you pull the, the knob, you're like going to open the door. There are my keys. <laughs> Last time it happened to me, when the locksmith came, he said, I'm going to give you two sets of keys. <laughs> Don't lose this set. Keep them in your billfold. But she began to pray. She's a Christian lady. She said, oh, God, please help me. Help me now, please. And she looked down, and right at her foot was a coat hanger. Wow. She bent over and picked it up, and then she realized she didn't know how to do it. So she said, Lord, please send somebody can use this to unlock my car. And about that time, a dude. You like dudes? <laughs> rednecks? We like dudes and rednecks here. It's amazing what God can do with a dude and a redneck. And this guy had a motorcycle, but he had, had the uniform too, you know. Got to have a certain kind of head, a certain kind of face, hair, and you got to have a clothes, all this stuff. Uh, just like the other guy. All the dudes have to look just alike because they don't want to be, you know, conformed. <laughs> Thank that one through. And he pulls up with his motorcycle and he says, ma'am, you got a problem? She said, yes, said uh, I need to get my door unlocked, and I don't know how. He said, let me have that coat hanger. And in a matter of seconds, less than a minute, had it unlocked. She said, let me pray. And she prayed so he could hear. She said, dear Lord, 
thank you for sending this good man to help me unlock my door. And when she finished praying, he said, I'm not a good man. I just got out of jail for robbing the bank and for stealing cars. <laughs> and she got happier. She said, thank you, Lord, for sending the professional. <laughs> were you listening? <laughs> I don't know if you were. Let me tell you, you know what I just did? I introduced the staff here. <laughs> they are professionals. I don't know where God found each one when he saved them, but I know this, they are specialists in their class. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. He loves that family. I love him. Uh... My name's Josh Alton, I'm from Dunn, North Carolina. I love this place. I love Jesus, and he loves me. This place has done so much for me. But I came out broke. I was broken. I was a broken man. I had everything in the world I wanted. Money, respect, all of them. But I've lost my way. Come to me All who are weary And come
I am here today to let you know you can have what the Lord wants you to have. Amen. Amen. You can have it, every one of them. Amen. But you got to want it. And you got to know it. You, you will get everything that he wants you to have, but you just got to let him. Amen. Let him. Don't you try to do it. You can't do it. Give my testimony. I'm trying to get to the ugly part because I've been so full uh, listening to the guys. And, um, Bless you, Lord. I signed in uh, May 19th, 2015. Uh, I haven't had it very since. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about renewing relationships. Um, my parents are here. I don't know. Amen. And uh, alcohol had completely torn us apart. It was turned, I'm sure, away between them. Uh, this is just amazing. You know, this place has changed my life. And um, yeah. I wasn't going to come up here, but um, I had to. Um, I mean, and this is my duty, just to let you guys know. Uh, the God is for you. Amen. Yeah. Bless you, Lord. And I left here. I was concerned about being thrown back out there. Uh, what's going to happen? Um, call my child to say, we can wait to hear from you. Amen. And, uh, we got the supervisor for position waiting. And, uh, my life has been amazing since I left. Um, it was amazing while I was here. I see you in over faces. And um, I just pray to the Lord for Delta Colony. Amen. He's already done it. Just let him. Let him love him. Let him love him. Amen. All right, I'm not going to preach. Come on. Come on now. Can I get an amen? amen? Can I get a praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Can I get a we love Bethel College? We love Bethel College. And I love y'all. God bless you. God bless you.